Welcome to Merit Training. Today we're going to talk about foot care and blister prevention and blister treatment. You're only as good as your feet. If you find yourself out in the woods for an afternoon hike, you can easily get a blister. And if you're in extended operations on expeditions or military or other situations where you're going to be out for a long period of time, you've got to take care of your feet. Blisters will slow you down and will compromise your mission. Blisters can easily be prevented with proper foot care. So this is your foot. Your foot on a daily basis sweats about 75 milliliters of fluid. If you're in a hot environment, it's going to be more than that. Here in Ireland, it's a little cooler. It might be a little less than 75 mils. But that's a tremendous amount of fluid coming out of your foot. You have to deal with that. Otherwise, that fluid is going to stay around your foot. It's going to help creates blisters. The trick is wearing a layered sock system. So if you have two layers, two pairs of socks, the first pair is going to be really thin. This thin, super thin layer of sock can be a dress sock, it can be a nylon, those nylon booties that uh, you can buy, they're really thin. You want a snug fit. That is going to keep moisture off of your foot. It's going to get all the moisture off your foot is going to be absorbed by this nylon. And the second layer is the trick. Your second layer is a very thick woolen sock. Your thick, thick woolen sock is going to absorb all of that moisture. It's going to wick away all of that sweat coming off your foot and keep your foot dry. There's a second reason for this as well. When you have blisters on your feet, it's because of friction. So if this is your foot and this is your sock, they're moving back and forth as you walk up the mountain and that causes blisters. But by having this layered sock system, you're minimizing that. So instead of your foot and the sock rubbing, it's your first layer, thin layer of sock or nylon and your thicker outer sock that are rubbing back and forth. That thin, and here it's a red layer, that thin first sock is going to take up a lot of that rubbing and that friction. You're going to minimize a lot of your blisters. You can also put uh, foot powder preventively onto your foot and help absorb some of that 75 milliliters of fluid. Tightness of your boot have a lot, has a lot to do with it as well. You need a snug fit, but not too tight. As you walk throughout the day, your foot is actually getting swollen up with fluid. Your foot gets bigger, and therefore, halfway through your, fall, your, your hike or partway through your hike, you need to stop and make sure that your boots aren't too tight because your foot's swelling up a bit. A good rule of thumb when you're hiking is the 50-10 rule. 50 minutes of hiking, you stop, you sit down, you have 10 minutes, have a cup of tea. We're here in Ireland, we have tea. Have some water to hydrate yourself. But more importantly, by getting off your feet, you'll have a chance to feel any hot spots or any blisters that are starting out and you can address those before they become blisters. If you keep on your feet all day, you're not going to feel that blister until it actually comes. By your 50-10 rule, 50 minutes of hiking, 10 minutes of sitting and, and resting your feet, you're going to give your feet a chance to let you know that a blister is forming. So what do you do if your blister forms and you've done all your preventive measures and you still get a blister. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, we're back. Let's talk about how to deal with a blister now that it's formed. Let's say that you have a blister right on the ball of your feet. These are really painful. This blister is going to keep getting worse and worse unless you deal with it. Now, there are things you can buy at your local grocery store or chemist shop 
that will cover this. They're pretty expensive. They're about a euro or two dollars each. And they're just foam padding. And they, they put pressure right on top of the blister and they still hurt. They feel a little better. But they're still putting a lot of pressure on your blister. That's a no-go. What you need to do is create some sort of cushioning around this blister so you don't actually put weight onto the blister. And what we use is called moleskin. Moleskin is a very thick felt-like substance that comes in A4 sheets or, or, or long rolls. And physiotherapists use them a lot, or orthopedic workers use them a lot. And they're very inexpensive. You can get them just about anywhere. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut a bit of moleskin around to shape the blister. Now, the moleskin is just not going to stay on very long because your foot is hot and sweaty. So there's a trick. We're going to use glue, medical type glue, to put this moleskin onto your foot. Now, we're not going to use super glue or Elmer's glue or anything like that. It needs to be a specific type. What we're going to use is called tincture of benzoin. Tincture of benzoin can be found pretty much worldwide. Sometimes it comes as a different name. Here in Ireland, it's called Friar's Balsam. So some parts of the world, it might come as Friar's Balsam. In North America, where I'm from, it comes as tincture of benzoin. You need these two bits of kit. And what we're going to do is we have a volunteer with a blister. We're going to take it outside. We're going to show you how to apply your moleskin in your benzoin tincture. For blisters, we're going to use the blister pack. The blister pack has moleskin and benzoin tincture also known as Friar's Balsam on this side of the pond. You take the kit out. Your moleskin is going to be just big enough to fit over top of your blister and the benzoin is there to glue it. So the first thing we're going to do is cut this piece into a donut shape to surround this. Since this is kind of a small one, I'm going to cut this in half first. I'm going to cut this again just a little bit since that's such a small blood blister. We're going to cut this in half again. This is about the size that we want. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the corners off of my moleskin. Any corner, a right angle corner such as this, can catch your sock and roll up and it'll start causing pain and a further blister what you need is a completely round donut shape that will cover your blood blister or your blister the last thing I have to do is cut a hole in the middle of this just the same size as my blister now this hole, now that we have the ring, the moleskin ring, the right size that's going to fit over the blister, it's round, we need to use our glue. This is benzoin tincture. This comes in a capsule that's plastic. And you have to crush that glass vial in the middle. You're going to use the benzoin all around the blister. And that's going to act as a glue. Now the trick is you have to let it dry because it's wet at the moment. If I put this on wet, it won't stick as well. So I'm going to let the wind dry this off a bit. If you notice, I didn't put any benzoin tincture on the actual wound itself. Then I'm going to get my donut of moleskin, put it right over top of my blister. You notice my moleskin.
wolf skin is not actually touching my blister at all. And what this does is that will protect my blister from my shoe. So I can put my shoe back on, my socks and my shoes back on, and the blister is protected.